Okay, what's up YouTube? It's Brandy Brielle, and today I'm gonna be showing you how I do eyelash extensions using strips. For these are the lashes I'm gonna be doing or putting on. These are Luxury Mink in the number nine, and these are from Envy Mink 3D. Um, these, this is the eyelash glue that I use. The eyelash glue I use is individual eyelash, individual eyelash adhesive from Envy. Um, and this is in the, the black, this is the black version. Uh, I used to use the clear one, but I don't like the clear one because when, it, if you get it wet or when it dry up, it can dry your white on your eye and I don't like that. And then these are my fillers that I got. And these are, all of this is from Envy. And yeah, so these are the fillers I got, and I really like this because they're really thick and long. Um, the thing about this glue, a lot of people sometimes don't like it because it does sting if you do get it in your eye, like actually in your eye and everything. But um, honestly, it's better than the hair hair glue. I know some people be doing it with hair glue, and no, I don't. No, I don't. No, don't do that. Please don't do it. So, um. I just made the intro so y'all can see my hair, but I'm gonna put the, my hair up because I don't wanna, I, I'm, I mean, I just wanna put my hair up, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put my hair up. So, um, oh, I do got lashes on, I need to take these off. But before I start, let me show y'all how I do. Let me take these off. I take both of my lashes out really quick. I'm gonna take them out. Another thing is I have two tweezers. I use a really big one, like a mega tweezer. And then I use a regular size standard tweezer. All right, so I get like this little tray. It's not a tray, but it's just something that I found. Something plastic or something where you can put your lashes on. And the way I work is I work on both eyes at the same time because I want this, I want them to look the same. So um, I'm doing, I do the end, end, and then I keep going in. I do, yeah. So that's how I do my makeup as well. I don't do one eye and then the other eye. I do each eye at the same time, just so it can look well and everything. So I'm getting my glue. So what I'm gonna do, so since I work on both eyes at the same time, I'm going to start by cutting the first little thing so you as you can see lashes and as you can see each of these lashes has some type of like I don't know you can see those little gaps and I cut those gaps now some people cut all of the gaps I don't cut all of the gaps because I don't want to lose pieces and I need to make sure the right pieces are in the same size so I'm just going to start by cutting that first gap right there Cut that first gap off I'm gonna take the little piece and so that's the first little gap right there. <laughs> um, I kind of cut it really skinny as well. I be wanting them to be thin so I can fit a lot on. So I cut it down just a little bit. Like, I don't know if you noticed that. I cut a little piece off that was extra. Take that lash and I get my glue and I turn it upside down. And I just put my lash in, in there and I get about that much. And um, I do let it dry just a little bit, but you don't have to let it uh, dry like super, super long because it's really, really sticky automatically. All right, so all I'm doing is I'm taking that end piece and I'm putting it at the end as possible of my eye, just like that. And I let, it, I let it sit on there and I take the end of my tweezers and I stick it with my the end of my tweezers like that. So like I said, I take my end piece and I turn this upside down and I just stick just a little bit in there and I want it like that. Want it like that. Uh, lift my eye. You guys can see. I lift my eye and I just put it under the end, the very end. And like I said, I, then I turn it around and, uh, oop, see? Turn it around again. 
and let it stick and let it stick kind of hold it with my finger a little bit you just got to keep kind of messing with it like you know you got to keep on sticking at it sticking at it poking it that's the first two and i'm already excited because it's already looking good do the same thing this is the next little cluster y'all can see that gap so same thing take my glue upside down let the glue fall and so just like that i'm gonna let it dry just a little bit like i said you don't have to let it dry all day long um because it is sticky it's meant to you know go on there sometimes yes i do be getting messy but i do i will go clean all that up at the end at when i'm done and so what i do is i place it right next to it i know in the lash it has gaps where like but i play it place it right next to it because my eyes are small and so like if i keep placing all these little gaps and like i space them out i will run out of room or i yeah i run out of room on my eye so i just go ahead and place it right next to it see if y'all can see just like that and like i said take the end of it and i just press it down y'all and i press it down and then there we go that's the second one the second one the more you keep doing it, the easier it gets it's always that first one for me it's still always the first in the middle i mean the first and the last i don't know why sometimes it'll slide down into that pink area so you just keep on lifting it up so i'm gonna take my spoolie spoolie and i'm gonna just you know go through them all right doing the second side just very gently so i don't cut all of that i just want to cut that because i'm like these lash these little lash um strip lines whatever they be look thick so just take your time when you're cutting them so you don't cut through the lash and it's gonna be the same thing another thing is um i clean my tweezers every time i do my lash extensions whether it's strips or um whether it's strips or like you know individuals for real for real individuals because you just need to clean your like anything that's going near your eye make sure you keep cleaning it and then um put it right there right next to it Oops. and i wiggle it around just so i can find the room press it on is i let it go just to make sure it's not scratching my eye like i will blink and like roll my eyes and stuff like that just so i can make sure that it's comfortable and so um it's it's a little it's kind of low so i'm about to push it back up and i'm just there you go i'm just kind of holding it down and like i said i i use my eyes and i roll them around i blink i blink and i make sure that um my eye is not poking me so I'm on the last two. It burned y'all right there burns. <laughs> this is the last one. Hold on. This one coming down. I'm pressing hold it. So like I said, I have I just applied all the strips from the lash. And they look really good. So now I'm about to go in and just do the front part of my eyes with these right here. And I'm just gonna fill them in as much as needed. Um, I'm gonna just start with, I'm probably gonna have to do two and then I'm gonna see what I need after that. They look good right now. I'm about to go and take all this glue out that I had made a mess with and then I'm coming back. All right, so I am done. I'm about to comb through them again. 
And this is what they look like. Let me get close. So for the end pieces, like I said, I use four of the little three trio things on the end just to complete it. And yeah, that's about it. I just go, like I said, I go side by side. And then I go in. Sometimes even if I feel like I need some, some, some fillers in there, I will use those little three things. But I think these are pretty thick by itself. And I don't want to overdo it. I want these to be kind of like, you know. And so, yeah. This is what they look like. The glue is waterproof, but you shouldn't try to uh, get your lashes wet even though it's waterproof. Just to, you know, promote longevity of these. These last me about, these last me about two weeks, I will say. they This glue is pretty strong. I don't have to keep on putting pieces in or anything, but when I am ready to take them out, I just take them all out. I don't feel them or anything. I just take them all out um another thing is a lot of people want to know how much it costs so when i went to the hair store to, to get the glass the lash glue and the trio uh, lash extensions that was 11 dollars even and then if you are getting um just some lashes to cut up i would say those would be about they'll run you about six dollars so probably about 16 17 dollars for this look and so i think that's pretty much a steal um how long does it take me to do? It'll probably take me, I was talking, so it'll probably take me probably about 30 minutes, 30, 30 minutes, um, honestly, and I feel like that might be a stretch if I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, no talking and just focusing on my lashes, then it'll probably be about 25, 30 minutes, not too long. Um, like I said, you don't have to wait for the glue to dry super, super long because it is already tacky. Um, so like I said, that's why it really don't take that long. And yeah, this is just, that's, this is how I do them. And let's say they last and they cute, like, I don't know. Sometimes when I do lash extensions, I'm gonna do another video. I do sometimes, this is crazy, but I will get smaller lashes, not smaller, but some that are not as thick as these. And I would do two pairs of lashes on one eye. So it just depends on how I'm feeling today. I just wanted to do one lash and then just feel in the front, so yeah. So, <laughs> I had to put my hair down so I can see the full look, okay? Yes, I do burn myself. I Like, I do sting my eye um, a couple times. It, sometimes when I put too much glue on there or I get too close to the lash line. And it happens. I mean, when you be seeing them, when you be seeing people get individuals for real, like, their eyes be so red. So, it happens. It's okay. It stings, but you be all right. I promise you, you're going to be all right. But, yeah. So thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more like this. <laughs>